the Young Bucks versus the Hybrid 2. As we've talked about before, every time the Young Bucks have an opening match, it does great in the ratings. And if you're the kind of person who enjoys watching Young Bucks opening tag matches on Dynamite, this is one of the better ones. Bro, I love this match. This is awesome. Because the Hybrid 2 are so good at working the same style the Bucks do. They, they, men, they, they uh, meshed perfectly. And I, I guess there was a heat segment. It really doesn't matter. They did a bunch of cool shit. The Bucks ran wild for a while. Hybrid 2 took over for like maybe 90 seconds, honestly. It's, it's one blind tag and a big dive and a submission hold. And then they just keep doing cool shit. So Jack gets powerbombed over... Jack Evans gets powerbombed over the guardrail onto the acclaimed... Who's sitting in the crowd? And there is a running springboard doomsday device on the ramp for Jack, which looks like it sucks. So they do this spot here. Now, I thought because the story was this is a non title match, but the Buck said, if you beat us, you will have earned a title shot. So I'm watching this match, and it's really, really good. And the Bucks have never been shy about putting people over and doing business at the right time. I'm thinking if you want to, you know, help these guys out, give yourself a hot challenger to work with in the future, either next week or down the road or whatever, you can you can lose to them here. It's okay. There's no problem with that. So the Bucks are doing, I believe, more bang for your buck. But uh, Matt goes for a moonsault, and he misses, but when he, he misses but lands on his feet, but he's got the bum leg. So as soon as he lands in his feet, he clutches his leg. And because this company is put together smart and it works well, they know what's going to happen and they have good direction. As soon as he does that, the camera immediately zooms in or cuts to a close-up of the or cuts to a close-up either way. But all you can see is this guy grabbing his leg and grimacing in pain. To make it abundantly clear, his leg hurts. Jack, as he's standing there, as the buck is standing there, Jack hits him with a Shining Wizard Poison Rana, where he posts off the referee's knee. Rana's him onto his head. Hits a dive to the outside to take out Nick. And, and, and Helico pounces on Matt with what I believe they call the Novaro Death Roll. His twisting reverse figure four thing. And I'm watching that and I think this is a perfect finish to give the Hybrid 2 the win and do the rematch next week and let the Bucks win there. It's perfect. They've already... They, they, Matt came into the match wounded. He made a mistake that hurt the injury. They're pouncing the injury. It's great. But that wasn't the finish they were doing, and that was not the, the, where the direction they were going. So that got broken up, and I'm trying to figure out why that wasn't the finish. And then they just hit in Helico with a BTE trigger and pin him. Okay, then. Never mind all that stuff. Well, here's the thing. I had other people that were upset about the BTE trigger. Like, after all that, that was a finish? John Cena's finish with a Death Valley driver. Their finish is the BTE trigger. And it was the golden trigger... And now they're using the BTE trigger. The idea yeah. is you will die if you are hit with this BTE trigger. That's yeah. the way it's sold. Nobody ever kicks out of it. That's your yeah. death finish. Yeah, it's not as spectacular as a springboard indie taker on the floor, but that's their finish. It's not even that. It's more just I was surprised that the Bucks won. If uh, going dude, to win I was convinced 100% watching this match that Jack and Helico were winning. Yeah. I mean, it was a non-title match. And it's awesome. You know the trope. They're yes. working. Apparently, they went into the ring with the idea of, we're going to do a PWG match on national television. They do that a lot, but okay. And, of course, no, this one in particular. I see. On national TV. And, of course, you know, for years, you've heard, oh, well, you know, all these smart marks love PWG, but this shit won't work on national television. Well, let's look at the numbers here. All right. This easily did more than a million viewers. I don't have all of the numbers yet, but... This match more than worked on national television. It's fucking awesome. This I match, loved every second of it. Since they opened the show, we can say for sure, this match opened head-to-head -head with a bunch of guys coming out and talking. Yeah. <laughs> if you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the join button, sign up today. You can also click subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.